Um, I'm Jamie, and I work with pregnant and postpartum bodies, um, finding balance and ease and integration. I'm Vajra Shakti Farnsworth, and I work with people doing kinesiology, body work. I've been a yoga practitioner and teacher for 30 years, and just recently in the last couple of years have um, studied Pilates, so um, integrate all those modalities. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at this amazing Anatomy Trains fascial dissection workshop, and um, just getting my mind blown daily here. This is a, the, our fifth day, and um, I guess some of the most significant findings for me is actually to um, be able to palpate muscles that are not accessible from the exterior. So as we've been dissecting, we've been going layer by layer so I can actually palpate and feel each layer. And then finally into the deepest structures and then to see movement happening. Um, like we were, we were yeah. doing some uh, flexion through the leg and watching the psoas move and, and seeing that action from the internal aspect. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that we would be moving bodies around. I thought <laughs> yeah. that it would just be sort of us cutting this, this thing. The, the concept of it being something that was that life is one of our guiding principles throughout this work was was just a paradigm shifter for what I thought we were going to experience. I, that was a surprise to me. Yeah. yeah, for me too, because it was the first day. I have to say it was really a, a little um, disturbing to my nervous system. I had never worked with a cadaver before, and. Um, um, but after I got over that initial kind of shock, right, um, I feel like I could do this work again Every and day. again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm still kind of in shock from the experience I just had 30 minutes ago. So I kind of had this tunnel vision around this the experience of touching and working with and discovering all these ligaments that I'd only really imagined in my imagination or that I'd only seen in textbooks or I'd only palpated part of them. And then to t actually hold and touch it as a whole was like I, I'm still kind of emotional about it, um, but that's that was just a recent a recent experience. But over the four days, I'm I'm feeling like making I'm very uterus focused in my work, but making those whole body connections has been brilliant with like the spiral line that we spent a lot of time with. And to see um, oh sorry yeah go ahead to see that line with our particular donor who had that I think around yeah. thirty degree con. Um, the, the spinal bend or the, um, the um, what am I trying scoliosis. to the scoliosis, right? And to see how all the organ structures had actually morphed into how the spine had, you know, bent. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and, um, and it, I could see that in the, the structures of the uterus as well mm -hmm. and the ovaries. That's right. They had a little twist at the bottom there. Yeah. Yeah. Which the textbooks don't show you. They kind of show the balanced average. <laughs> so, um, yeah. A lot, I guess, you know, just the last thing to say is that there's just a lot of um, kind of misnomers that I learned in my textbook anatomy classes sure. that I'm really um, realizing that, okay, this is actually not how the body is. So mm -hmm. I'm feeling like it's a huge breakthrough for me in my learning, and I'm going to be able to take this home and apply it to my clients and really um, move with velocity with uh, my, my skills with this training. That's awesome. Yeah, I have no idea how my touch is going to change with clients. I'm, I'm excited to discover that. Yeah.